俺がスーパーサイヤ人ってこんな世界があったなんてよ Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. So we are sort of finishing up the sort of, um, I guess like content cycle or wave or whatever we want to say for the Dokkan Fest God Goku here. Uh, funny enough, I actually do have this friend. Um, nice offensive build right there. I probably would like a little bit more additional than crits, but I mean this is still decent. We got a nice little attack uh, orb on there which could allow him to do some more damage. Sure, but you know, we got, do have the level 10 link, so... Both God Gokus here will both be level 10 links, which is good for the showcase, right? Um, so what I do now is I like to kind of complete, I guess, all the videos I like to do on a character with the level 10 link video. Now at this point, I can give my sort of like final thoughts on the character. Uh, and then we could get a bunch of clips of how they perform during the world tour as well. So we can sort of see how God Goku performs against some of the toughest bosses, some of the crucial situations, stuff like that. Um, I do leave the celebration thinking that he's the number one TUR. Um, this guy is definitely on the level of the Gammas and Kid Goku. Um, I think that, you know, it, it is balanced a little bit, right? Like, this guy guards with six key spheres. You could not get six key spheres and not guard. Defensively, his raw defense is not good if he's not guarding. If he's guarding, I think for the most part, it's pretty fine. Um, I guess after he super attacks, his defense is a lot better. But typically, when discussing this, I'm more so focusing on slot one potential. Um, but even with three key spheres, he does then have a 60% chance to dodge. I do think that this is a very well-balanced number one to UR, right? Giving him the ability to stack defense, the ability to dodge, the ability to guard. Then, of course, we have the Super Saiyan transformation, where he then does the huge damage attack. Um, you know, usually, typically I see that the transformation itself does about 10 or 11 million, typically. That, that's the damage that you're doing. That's a lot. Right? Like, Red Zone Broly and these bosses are, you know, 50 to 60 million. So you're, you're taking off a fifth of their HP, a sixth of their HP sometimes, just with his transformation. And then he's doing guaranteed crits in Super Saiyan form. The character has an insane Link set. I mean, it with this unit, personally, the way I evaluate it, I, I, it's just Ws across the board, right? Like, let's just quickly go through the whole kit. Pure Saiyan, Hybrid Saiyan, Leader Skill, W. Super Attack Effect, Stacking Attack and Stacking Defense. Stacking attack is mostly pointless unless you have an active skill attack. Guess what? The transformation is an active skill attack, so the, the attack stacking does matter. Passive, right? He has orb changing, guard, dodge, additionals. He's got everything in there, right? Link sets. Dude, look at this ridiculousness. Super Saiyan, shocking speed, warrior gods, godly power, over in a flash, prepare for battle, fierce battle. That is exactly what we want. And then, oh, by the way... He's on 500 teams, and we're talking teams like Miraculous Awakening, right? Uh, Exploding Rage, Legendary Existence, Accelerated Battle, Power of Wishes. He's on a lot of teams where he could be very helpful for any type of content that might need some of these types of characters. This guy really is just a W top to bottom. I, I don't really... The only L on this entire character is I'm just not a fan of... Uh, what I call the tech pan mechanic where a unit will have strong defensive abilities before they attack but after they attack they lose it STR Videl has it as well I probably should call it the STR Videl mechanic but I, I, there might be another one before her but I, none come to mind just off the top of my head um, but Goku has a 70% chance to dodge in Super Saiyan form before he attacks Right, that is kind of the one aspect of this unit I don't like I mean, yeah, he can get up to, you know, 800, 700, 900, a million defense after he supers, which is fine against normals, but you guys have to understand what this character is. This is a top-tier Dokkan Fest TUR character for, I don't want to call Sandy a big celebration, but it typically is a notable character, right? Um, this is the type of character we want dealing with Red Zone and Cell Max super attacks. Cell Max is like a seven-month-old boss now. I'm not interested in listening to people go, well, we can't realistically use Cell Max to determine if a character's good. Uh, yes, we can. Uh, yeah, we can. Because the best characters can deal with Cell Max, right? And that does matter. 
that's why I do prefer the God form, because in God, he's got, you know, the dodge even after he attacks, and he has the guard capabilities. But he's very well designed, because maybe you're on a rotation, you can't get a lot of orbs. So, okay, we'll transform into Super Saiyan, and then at least we'll have, you know, a consistent level of defense, but we do know that we'll get caught by a Super Attack in, like, slot two or three. Regardless... I think he's just, this is just a fantastically designed character. Uh, just stupendous, amazing, fantastic. I, I, I can't do anything except for slurp this god Goku all day long. This, to me, like, if I want a character designed, if I want a character made... No, it's just baby. No, he hates it. Because th this is not... My god Goku with the extra dodge would surely dodge. He, of course he would. He, he absolutely... My god Goku would dodge. This god Goku should hit a little bit harder because he does have, like, pure attack equips. Like, like the actual, like, attack buffing um, bronze equip. But, uh, yeah, it, it's just it's just ridiculous, right? Like, everything he can do, this is how you build one of these characters right here. Um, the way they structured these very high-end difficult bosses, Red Zone bosses and Cell Max and, like, Sin Shenron from the Shadow Dragon event, right? Like, you need these abilities to be able to compete with these level of bosses. Um, and they gave God Goku everything he needs. He has all the tools that he needs to dominate the toughest bosses in the game, which is really, for me, um, all I can ask for, right? Oh, damn, the intro's on. All right, well, I'm already blabbering away. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll just do like a normal run here. We'll, we'll go through this Red Zone Frieza fight. Uh, again, towards the end... Um, what I will do is I will grab, uh, you know, some m notable clips, uh, from throughout the world tour. That, that's kind of how I've been doing this at the end right here. And we'll see how he's competing against some of the bosses. Um, okay. So typically the LR gods, it, this could actually be pretty bad for them. Uh, but this is our first turn. So they will be guarding. Um, remember that God Goku's link set is very good. We'll allow him to work with many very strong characters. We get the six orbs. Boom. They're guarding, right? Or uh, God Goku is guarding, right? That's all it takes. You get that six orbs, and you are looking good. He's at 247k right there at the start of turn. Everything is active except for shocking speed and over in a flash. Remember, we are getting the support from Carnival Goku as well. Uh, so Goku, right? Yeah, see, it, it is funny. My God Goku really does dodge a lot, man. And, you know, I... I would remind people, I don't have a full dodge build, but I do have a lot of dodge on him, right? So, you know, I, listen, if I was to advise building God Goku in such a way, I would I would advise, I think, starting with addition. We got the hit him potential system additional right there. Nice. I would advise start. He, does, he just dodges every attack. Uh, I'd advise starting with additional and then focusing on dodge. Um, if you give him crits in base, I mean, sure, it can be good. Um, I've seen a lot of people use the argument that he would then tear through enemies too fast and other characters wouldn't have a chance to stack. I do think that's a valid argument there because that is a problem. All of these top tier characters are building up in some way and it does get very difficult to sort of balance every single one of these characters that has to get hit in some way, right? It does. It, it, it can be an issue. And if God Goku is just double, super double critting every single turn, it, what's likely to happen is you're going to get to the, one of these phases of these bosses and you're not going to be ready to be there and you're going to get cooked is, is what can very likely happen with many characters, right? Many many of these characters that could happen. Um, I would advise start with additional. What I did when I built my God Goku was I wanted to get him to 20 additional and then I, I went backwards from there. Now, on GP2, we had incredibly premium equips um, available to us from the Power of Wishes event, which uh, my bronze equip, I believe, is one of the Power of Wishes equips. Let's see. Yeah, the, my bronze equip is, but my silver and gold are not. Um, so what I did was I just made it a priority to get him to 20 additional, and then the rest I wanted to fill out with his dodge. Because, um, you know... There will be times where you can't get six key spheres, so you're not guarding. And at that point, he's not tanking the core. He's not tanking, you know, uh, um, Cell Max, right? These types of bosses. And then you're going to need to rely upon your dodge. Dodge is strong. And even four characters that can survive, I'll put the clip in here against the Shadow Dragon event Sin. My God, Goku ate it for 450k, right? People will say, why give dodge to a character that can guard when you're going to live anyway? 
because a dodge would save you 450,000 HP against, for example, that red zone, uh, not red zone, but um, the Shadow Dragon event, Sin, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so we got another pretty good turn right here. Um, uh, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, uh, his EZA is a very solid uh, run. I think on a team with this god Goku, right? Uh, creating rainbow key spheres really can help, um, you know, god Goku just really eat. God Goku is strong enough, absolutely. You know, you on each rotation, you have both god Gokus just anchoring slot one. It just takes so much pressure off the team. It is so easy to team build when you have a, a dominant force like this in slot one on each rotation, right? Like if you handle slot one, you could fill out the rest of the team easily. Slot one is the very problematic spot. No additional. Okay. 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 Uh, he eats it, and this is probably easy double digits. Like, hardcore double digits right here. Because uh, remember, God Goku, you know, every turn we're stacking attack and defense. But God Goku also does get 50% attack and defense when attacking, too. So, it's like that start of turn defensive stat you see, if he gets a chance to super first, it's going to be a lot higher. Damn, is Frieza really going to be left with a sliver here? Yeah, that sucks. Oh, that's such a, that's, that's so unfortunate right there. That will prevent my god Goku from continuing to build up to, to a certain degree, right? Because he's only going to get one super attack in right here. Now, remember that god Goku, um, so he's at basically 300k right there. Uh, god Goku gets 100% attack. Um... For the first uh, six turns with his intro buff, as well as the physical orb changing, if there's six or more super class allies in the team. So you can, you are allowed to run one villain unit on the team. Like you could run, you know, everyone loves that int, uh, legendary Super Saiyan Broly. You can run him on the team and God Goku will solve his intro buff up. So he gets 100% attack on super for the first six turns. And then remember, he gets a big attack buff uh, once God Goku... Okay, okay, he gets a big attack buff uh, once he's done his fourth super attack in battle, which we do have activated right here. So here we should see God Goku do a, a pretty decent amount of damage um, to this Frieza. I should probably be a little bit cautious because that STR Carnival Goku, this is the type of rotation where he could get cooked because he is not built up, but we'll be able to see this God Goku do a lot right here. So there's a super attack right away. He does actually get hit by it, which is annoying. Now, the, the friend God Goku... He's just not dodging, I, you know? Yeah. All right. He could tank it, but, you know, that, that. <sighs> the dodge. That dodge helps a lot. It really does. It is beautiful when they're dodging. Okay, so here's super attacks just continuing, right? Stacking attacks, stacking defense. So defensively, he's getting even stronger as the fight goes on. And then we're just going to be ready to, you know, do that Super Saiyan transformation. And he's just going to do devastating damage to these bosses, right? Uh, with not only the actual transformation attack itself, but then Super Saiyan Goku with his guaranteed crits will do tremendous amounts of damage. So, that I mean, that pretty much covers most of the aspects of the character, right? Like, he is he is that guy. Um, when we see Dokkan Fest exclusives, this is what we want. I feel like restricting his guard to six orbs but also oh, that's good this is good this is good i'd rather this goku eat this than the last goku he'll take damage but this is yeah that's that's not a death sentence or anything um uh the, the goku the six orbs for guard it's it, it's like it, it's a restriction but it's like a balanced like very to me unannoying restriction maybe some people don't like it i don't really think it's that big of a deal Compared to some other characters, uh, Super 17, um, <laughs> they're like, hey, uh, what if you have uh, this nasty turn restriction, but then you have this HP restriction, then you have this other HP restriction, then you have this other super class restriction. It just gets very damn annoying. All right, so we're at 317 right here. This is a pretty good turn. Uh, I think I probably, no need to worry about using items or anything like that. We we should be pretty good to go right here. Although this Frieza has super attacked a lot, and he has stacked up a lot of attack. But I don't think we have to uh, worry too much. Let's see what my god Goku gets up to. So he's at 10.2 uh, right there. That's with his full passive now activated. A lot of these attack links are up as well. Next to the LR gods, and he's getting support from Bardock. And then he just continues to build up. 12.6 he jumps up to. So that's pretty good, right? You, like this, so this, he 12.6, it's his second super. He's guarding, he's dodging. It's like they just give this guy so damn much. He he really has so much to him. 
Um, let's go ahead and pop this right here. Uh, I think I will use... We're going to use both of these active skills. I'm going to show Super Saiyan Goku right here, and I'm going to pray that we don't die because of what I call the, the tech pan mechanic. But regardless, let's go ahead and show what Goku do, could do right here. All right, so now we transform into Super Saiyan Goku, right? So Goku, what he does is he has a 70% chance to dodge before he attacks. A few links of his change as well, right? His links that definitely, I would argue, gets worse, right? Um, losing over in a flash. Uh, what links exactly does he lose? So he loses um, over in a flash, becomes Kamehameha, Kamehameha. He also loses uh, Warrior Gods and Godly Power. So over in a flash, Warrior Gods and Godly Power become Golden Warrior Experience Fighters and Kamehameha. I mean, over in a flash sucks just because in my head I'm thinking of the 5th Anniversary Blue Fusions. I guess it's really not the biggest deal ever, right? Um, Super Saiyan Goku, he does give himself two key at the start of turn, which I do think is actually helpful. He does guaranteed crits for his first three turns in Super Saiyan form. Then he gets super effective against all types from starting from the fourth turn. I've not one time ever lost his crits because I, I just think if you're transforming that early in the fights, that's usually not a good idea. I, I don't think your best bet with this character is to just blindly transform as fast as you can. It's just, it seems foolish. This, to me, seems intended to be kind of like a final blow type thing. I mean, look at the amount of damage we did to Full Power Freezer just from AGL Carnival Goku's active skill, which typically doesn't do much damage, and this guy's active skill, which does do a lot of damage. All right, I'm going to pop this. So remember, we have 70% chance to dodge before we attack, right? Um, you know, if we get hit and killed before then, it is what it is. I mean, sometimes dodge fails, right? Even for me. Uh, he gets 100% attack and defense when attacking. So, you know, we're going to be able to double that defense. And he's getting 30% defense from a super attack effect. So, if he would triple super, which he can, he has an additional as a high chance of being a super in his kit base. So, if he does three super attacks, he can get to a reasonable level. I, I think Cell Max or Metal Cooler Core, these type of losses would still one-shot him if they supered after he even triple supered. But, at the very least, most normal attacks from the big bosses, he should be okay against. If I, if I was seriously sitting here like, okay, like, we've got to win. Uh, I'm actually can't remember if Carnival... I don't think this Carnival Goku... I think he still has his guard. If I was trying to win here, I would probably do this. This is the rotation I would run. Provided AGL Carnival Goku has his guard, which I believe he does. Right? So, let, let's go and see what we do. Uh, hopefully, if Frieza supers right away, Goku will dodge it for us. Um, but, you know, again, it is what it is if he does not. Um, we have a lot of his links active and stuff like that. Um, okay, so there again, 70% chance to dodge before he supers. If Frieza supers after he attacks, oh, Christ, yeah, here we go. I, I, I just, maybe for some, like, I, dude, I've had people commenting, he's such an idiot, he still doesn't know how good defensively Super Saiyan Goku is after he supers. But don't do it. Okay, I'm okay with Spirit Bomb Sword Goku. Okay, 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 okay. I, I'm we get one shot right there. Like if he's if Frieza supered right there, we get one shot it. Like we just actually just get one shot it off the, off the, the the field. Like it, it, we we die instantly, right? Like it, it's like he, he he's not defensively good enough after his he supers. Now we live this. If our guard is off, we don't. But we definitely live unless our uh, if our guard is on, we live this for sure. But I I, I can't remember if if this Goku is on turn one. He was. Oh, he lived without the guard. What? Okay. What? Dude, he lived without the guard? Are you kidding me? What? That car... That car... What is up with that carnival Goku, man? It is... It is... 
He lived without the guard? What? I... I mean, he does get 30% defense from his 12 key super attack effect. Wow. I can't believe that Carnival Goku lived without guarding right there. Okay. I... That, dude, that, that Goku is so stupid. Yeah, Goku is so stupid. Okay. Um, so we are in the clear. Yep, we got our six orbs right there. The only... Th no, no, that's gonna... No, it's not gonna fall the way I wanted it to. Hmm. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get as many orbs as I would like for the LR gods afterwards, but we should probably still be able to secure our W. I don't think Frieza will be supering on this rotation, considering his super was the very last attack of the last turn. So we probably will be good to go here. And then, of course, with the LR gods getting their active skill off, they got the guaranteed crits, and we should be good. Um, perhaps I should have transformed with my god Goku as well. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. We, we've seen what he could do. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this god Goku. To me, he seems like a great Saiyan Day character. There's the additional super. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice triple super that this boy can do. Um, he's just an incredible character all around, right? Like, I... I like pretty much everything they did with this unit. I think his design is very good. Damn near immaculate design. The only... the only, if, if it was up to me to change anything, the only... I would only change one thing, and that's allow Super Saiyan Goku just 70% chance to dodge, period. He doesn't even need anything else. Just 70% chance to dodge, start a turn. That's all. That instead of 70% before he attacks, and I think this character's perfect. Right, this is one of, I think, the better designed uh, Dokkan Fest we've gotten in a while. Like, oh wow, this guy's just W. W's across the board. Again? From normals? No, I think he dies regardless. Double digits? Okay, that's good. I mean, I, I guess the one thing, yeah, that is good we took double digits, but remember that the Metal Cooler Core, like, his, his normal damage really ramps up after he supers. Remember, there's an extreme difference between... The damage from Metal Cooler Core normals before and after he suit. It's a, it's a huge difference, right? So you know we do want to keep that in mind. Um, I think God Goku here he would he would just live a super from the core. Like we wouldn't even die here. Yeah, this is he's living this. This doesn't kill. How many supers is that? Four, five supers? No, we did die actually. Okay. Not really as good of a rotation as I would have liked right there. Oh, super attack is right away. That's good. Again, it would be nice if we got the extra damage reduction from Kid Goku. Let's just do... 420? Where's the dodges? Dude, this... I This video has been a nightmare. I... Wait, we, we're not dodging at all. Okay. That's... Owie. That hits kind of hard. 450 he does? I don't... Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. I, I thought that this guy is a pussy. Hold on. No, he seems to be... He's, he's pretty strong there. Okay. Uh, so he does really destroy your defense when he super attacks. We do want to keep in mind that, right? But I'm sure God Goku will be fine after he's supering and, and building up a little bit more anyway. So again, we have Super Saiyan over in a flash. Prepare for Battle Fierce Battle activated. Um, it, this is a decent turn right here. Damn, God Goku, he's, on, he's under 300k. What did my God Goku super twice? I do wish Bardock could give defensive support as well. All right, let's see. Remember, we have a 60% chance to dodge, plus my god Goku has got extra dodge built in. I mean, yeah, he's good. He's good. God Goku is really good. He's, a, he's really good. Very, very, very strong character. Because it's like, I, I think we would have we would have lived that, right? We weren't going to take 650 from that. It would have put us at very, very low HP, though. Um, but that's why, like, it's not, he doesn't just guard. He has 60% chance to dodge, too. And then he puts up these types of numbers. Very impressive turn from God Goku here against Cell Max, man. Nice. Like, like, this is, this is what we come for. Uh, now, uh, do we have any chance of living here? I don't think so. I think it's just death, right? Like, oh, 8th anniversary Dragon Ball Z. Let's just, I mean, both of these characters, you know, Bardock's got five dodge. Our DBZ duo has um, three dodge. They could dodge. You know, we, we have a, a percent chance. Okay. I think we're okay. It, he, he does live. This, is, this doesn't one-shot us. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Although, Tech God Goku would want orbs to, to tank Cell Max. Okay, 44k right there. Sure. There's a super dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. <laughs> I love... Dude, I, I love him. I, he's so good. 
Yeah! That, that just, I just, like, how can you be a dodge denier? Like, doesn't that feeling, I, I feel it shooting through my veins. It's just like power. Like, I see that little cut in and I just am like aroused. It, it's, I, I just cannot handle myself. When you see that little cut, boom, and we are in business, right? Nice 10 million right there. I mean, it just it's, it just does a lot of damage. You know, remember, we're stacking attack up to that. But then, I mean, we have this ridiculously stupid Super Saiyan Vegeta out here, right? So, all right. So, this is going to be a crazy turn. I did this because we have everything active except for Shocking Speed, right? Golden Warrior Experience, Fighters, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, all activated. Um, th this is a crazy turn. I imagine Vegeta is going to die at the end here. Um, so let's go ahead and get this in. Uh, yeah, th this is a, this is a strong, this is a strong turn. Could we kill? We could kill Broly. We he could die. Like, we could just one turn him with this turn. Like, very easily here. Um, best case scenario, we, uh, Broly doesn't super until the very last attack, right? Like, let Vegeta super first. But, like, this is, this is crazy, right? Like, the, because... Both Carnival Goku and, you know, God Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, are giga-charged by Vegeta. <clears throat> Remember, the, the, the damage increase that Vegeta provides is, uh, like, it, it's, it's, just, it's just beyond belief. Ridiculous, right? All right, decent. All right, so remember, every attack Goku's doing here is a guaranteed crit. This is a guaranteed crit. So, he could easily shoot out three of these. I have, you know, what, 21 additional on him, so very good chance we'll get it. Nice. Only a normal, unfortunately. Okay, 21 additional doesn't kick in uh, god damn it of course all right we did see him double digit tank broly's normals we'll, we'll certainly take that come on i always have ter i always have terrible offensive luck right like we got him with some good additionals he didn't get it yeah i mean if we crit with the spear bomb oh he's super into it if we crit with this i, I he, he is probably dead that's crazy i mean uh, just a little bit of better rng with super saiyan slash god goku and we do easily one turn him here <笑>貴様の負けだ。まだ死ねねえな。おめえをやっつけるまではな。宇宙のみんな。オラに元気を分けてくれ。サンキュー。宇宙のみんな。行くぜ。<笑> That's, dude, we, like, to say we one-turned him, that was with, like, bad RNG, too, right? Like, we so overkilled Broly there. Wow, that was crazy. That was, that shows, like, now, a lot of this was the best unit in the game right there. Again, the damage increase that they give, you know, like, the, the transformation into Super Saiyan, and then the huge damage increase for that attack. Carnival Goku's two attacks, then, you know, the Super Saiyan Goku's two attacks as well. I mean, yeah, it's just... Uh, but, like, this is just a God Goku W, right? Like, it's like he, he allows all... It, yeah, I mean, man, it's, that was... The, the thing is that these are pretty much just all turning into effortless no-item try, Like, one attempt no-item tries, right? And all the toughest fights, like... Yeah, this God Goku's ridiculous. 